What's up everybody and welcome back to another video. Today we are at Detroit's Autorama at the Kobo Center. It's actually been renamed to the Huntington Place. And in case this is an event that you have an interest in but unfortunately weren't able to make it, I'm gonna be walking around and getting video of every car that I possibly can. So let's get started. So we're starting on the lower level and what's really interesting is they've got a boat here and I know for a fact those are older Chevy K1500 wheels. So this boat is actually sitting on top of a K1500 truck frame. I don't know if it runs or drives, but that's a cool idea. Pretty sweet Hillbilly Deluxe Ford pickup truck here. What's this thing sitting on? 24s? Sheesh! I like the patina. I don't know if that's real patina because you can actually make like fake patina, but still a cool scheme. Looks like they got a matching sled to go with it. Pull the flathead forward. Some type of old school dragster here. What's cool is you can tell this is a Chevy motor because the distributor is on the back. If the distributor was in the front, so it would be a Ford motor. So this is some type of Chevy V8. Most likely like a 350 small block. So a really unique idea I like about this is that the headlights are actually back by the firewall and it appears he's got some type of microphone as a shifter. Really cool shagging wagon with the swivel seats. Dropbox Chevy. So this Cadillac's got a trend that you really don't see anymore, and that's where like the top has been chopped to lower to give it a lower profile. I've always wondered how they do that with like the windshield, because like the glass has got to be angled just right. How many layers of tin is it? That is dark. I think that's vinyl wrapped on the inside if I had to guess. Nonetheless, really cool car. It's another really cool idea. You've got this wagon here, right? The Woody wagon. Well, they've got a matching trailer to go with it. So this is an example of a Ford engine, because like I was saying, the distributor's on the front, so it's a Ford motor. Whereas like you come over to this vehicle, Distributor is in the back, so it's a GM engine. Oh man, that's definitely a Michigan car. That's cool though, what is this? Dark Swinger? That engine bay is clean though. See, I'm always a sucker for a slam station wagon, but I wonder what it's got for a suspension. Ugh, I can't tell. It's got drum brakes in the front still, but maybe it's air ride or hydraulics. But she's sitting low. Quite a bit extreme on the chop top of this old Ford. Some meaty ass tires though. And they got this thing that just pops. That color is loud. Another good example of a vehicle with a matching trailer. So that was the basement level. If you haven't figured it out yet, the theme of this show is more like retros, 50s, 60s, and 70s themed vehicles. Even like some people get into like costume and will dress retro. It's a, it's a really interesting thing to see. But now we're up on the second level. Uh, vehicles are a little bit more modern up here. 
And there's no music, so it's easier to talk. I mean, kind of explain things. So this is an old 1970 Plymouth Barracuda. Looks like it's got a newer engine. I don't know if that's a Hemi. Might be an LS. I don't know how to visually tell the difference. If you look at the coil packs though, I'm guessing that's a Hemi because those do not look like LS coil packs. If you guys know what kind of engine this is, comment down below. Really clean car though. And right next to it, looks like this thing is Hellcat swapped. And this one is a 1970 Roadrunner. Blue interior, I don't know how I feel about that, but uh, the exterior looks very clean. Some meaty wheels and tires, I imagine you would need to handle that Hellcat engine. Behind the Roadrunner is a 68 Charger. And you knew it was the good old days when you could buy a Chevy truck with an inline six. Moving into a more modern vehicle, looks like an 0506 Dodge Viper. Does it say what year it actually is? Doesn't, but I dig the yellow. A big fan of yellow cars. Another Charger here, Ford Super Duty. I'm a big fan of this F-150. Got a blower on it, set up for drag race. You can see the meaty slicks in the back. We'll walk back here. Regular cab, short bed. Big fan of this Nova, no chrome on it whatsoever. License plate says fast Jeep. Wonder if that's true. This is what we got underneath the engine bay. This is another one where I really can't tell what the engine is. If I had to guess, it's gotta be a Hemi though. Ken Bell Supercharger. The camera doesn't pick up on how deep that color is. That is a beautiful color. Credit to the builders. So I'll admit I'm not the biggest fan of Fox Body Mustangs, but this one's got a pretty interesting story. Looks like three years ago it caught on fire. It was considered a total loss and they restored it anyways. I think they did a great job. 302 small block. Hey. I had a clean leave one time and I'm like, all of them gone. Here's the picture. Oh. Gotta respect the effort. Really clean Grand National here. I don't know if you guys ever seen the engine bay of a Grand National, but they put the turbo right up on top, front of the motor. Easy access, gotta love that. Newer Mustang, absolutely slammed, but it's got some cool carbon fiber on the hood. Big fan of this color. It's actually really nice to see an FRS that isn't cambered out wide body. The fact that this still has stock fenders, stock quarters, no camber. It's really nice because I feel like these cars have a lot more potential than just being a stance build. I feel like they're actually really good track weapons. Just not a lot of people take advantage of that. Next to it is this old S10. Really cool new edge Mustang build. I don't know if you can even call it a Mustang because 
really I don't think there's much forward left to this. You can see tubular front end, big motor. I don't even know what this is, but really big blower attached to the crank. Really cool. Here's an unusual build for you. We got a Volvo station wagon, right? Big slicks in the rear. Let me check out the engine bay. Definitely a turbo LS, but where are they hiding that turbo? There it is. Big old turb ski. Don't sleep on these station wagons, man. Now here's a Catfish Camaro with a color combination you don't see very often, especially on these cars. White wheels, white vinyl, blue vinyl covering all the paint. What's he got for an engine? Based on the camera, I'd say you might track this thing. Oh, he's a drifty boy. He's got the handbrake, six-speed manual. Pro Mod Camaro, if you can call it really a Camaro. Transmission sitting right next to you. Sheesh. I don't know if it's going to show up on camera very well, but this is more of like a green color tone. This paint is absolutely beautiful. Blue on screen, but in person, it's more of a green. Let's see if it says... Doesn't say the color on it, but that's great. Twin Turbskis? Eighty three Ford Fairmount sedan. Betcha this thing moves. Oh look, there's a Mustang bolted to this motor. Really thick intercooler. You can see between the intake up top. Lower intake and then the intercooler in the middle. Fox Body Mustang showing out over in this corner. Really nice color on this one. Blower with a small block 302. Might be a 351. Says it's a 50. I learned you can't always trust the badges though. This unit's got a mod motor. 24 valve NA. Like 4.6 or 5.4. Six speed manual. I really like those seats. NT55 G2s. It's a 265 tire. That's actually probably plenty for that engine. GT on turbine wheels. This notchback looks pretty gripped up. What size are those tires? They look like they might rub a little bit. They are 295 3018s. Those are thick. Another manual car. It's like a Ford push rod motor. So this orange one is an ASC McLaren. I'm not sure what makes the McLaren Fox body so special or what kind of like package it is, but he's on meaty tires as well. What are these 305s? Really nice paint. This one I like because it's all original. 
He's got some dark tint. One of the few automatic Fox bodies here. That's why I get them from. That's different. Basically a pristine survivor. So the reason why these turbine wheels are so important is because they only came on the 93 Cobras, which this one is. Pro Charger on it. You can tell it's a Cobra because one Cobra emblems. Red paint code. Oh, they still got the dealership sticker. But this car costs brand new. $20,000. $20,000 to get you a Cobra Mustang. Anymore, it's more like 120. So I figured out why they have so many act in this corner. It's actually a group of Fox Body owners, Detroit Fox Bodies. I like that the majority of them are keeping Ford motors. This one's got some type of push rod Ford. Turbo over there on the passenger side. Shout out Detroit Fox Bodies. Manual car. I think of all the Fox Body front ends, this is my favorite bumper, the, the four-eyed. Good paint, good front end, good engine. I like this one. Deep blue paint on this LX. That's crazy. What's he got for tires? 285s. Another 93 Koba. So there's Thunderbirds in the Fox body group as well. It's kind of an oddball, but these Thunderbirds were built on the Fox platform, so technically, they are allowed in the group. 5-0 Coyote. Really clean paint. I like it. Now we've got the new Corvette E-Ray. Chevy Performance has a booth here. This is the one that has the electric hybrid. So it's electric driving the front axle, gas motor on the back. So basically it's the first all wheel drive electric hybrid Corvette. This is the new Z06. It's got flat plane crank engine. Carbon fiber wheels, matching brake calipers. Now I'm not a big C8 enthusiast, but this is definitely the one to get. So this is really cool. They have a cutout of the E-Ray, which is that car over there. You can see electric motor in the front. That drives the front axle. We'll walk around to the back. And there's your gas engine driving the rear axle. It's really cool that they have this on display and kind of show it off a little bit. This is another vehicle they got here at the Chevy booth. ZR2 Silverado. Let's see, engine. So normally the ZR2 was like a Colorado package only, but it seems like they're gonna be putting on the Silverados now too. And this one's got the Bison trim package. I couldn't tell you what really makes this truck so special. LT4 you're gonna find in the C7Z06. Even got the new 632 big block. This is the one that makes a thousand horsepower to the crank NA. 
I'm waiting for the day that someone puts fuel injection with a turbo or some type of supercharger on this. I think that would be absolutely wicked. So here's a controversial build for you. Chevy C10 of some sort with an electric motor only. So there's no gas, there's no V8, there's no big block, no cam, nothing. And in the bed, there's just nothing but batteries. I'm sure this will make a lot of old timers kind of salty. So uh, comment down below, tell me what you guys think of this electric Chevy truck. Now these things are clean. I don't know exactly what they are. So this one's a 51 Mercury. Red one. Looks like this one also is another 51 Mercury. If I had to guess, that one's a Cadillac. And this one's a 1950 Mercury. Definitely a vehicle you don't see every day. Pontiac Fiero GT. This one's a manual. Really cool car. I'm a big fan of these. Would have been cool to see a second generation, fortunately being discontinued after only four years. Plum Crazy Purple Challenger beside it. So I'm trying to cover as many vehicles as I can. Um, quite a few cars here. It's almost overwhelming. A lot of people in the way as well. Kind of what to expect in an event like this. So there's no way I can walk past this Chevelle and not mention the color. I feel like orange is a difficult color to pull off and this car does it really, really well. Walk around it a little bit. Not sure what size that engine is. That's just a beautiful color. So if you want to talk about a really time consuming and uh, effortless, or not effortless, but a job that takes a lot of work, this whole truck it's carbon fiber. Fenders, cab, doors, bed, exhaust out the sides. That's incredible. The amount of time and effort that it would take to pull off this. Officially made it to the King of Bling booth. Blue lighting around the sides. Mirrors underneath. Even chrome brake rotors. They definitely don't drive this one, you can tell that. Some things are just too clean to put miles on, I guess. I need sunglasses just looking at this thing. This Porsche, man. Every air duct, it looks like, has been deleted. Bubble roof. Absolutely slam chrome wheels. This is another crazy build. Where it's like, it was so unnecessary to do that to the roof so really cool factor <laughs> 350z done up in tokyo drift spec the whole car is actually a wrap which is kind of crazy because trying to design that, got to give credit to them for that. Meguiar's is here showing off all their car care products, got the full semi. You can just tell, absolutely crazy amount of people. like. I wonder what this building would look like if it was just the cars and no spectators. Green seems to be a pretty popular color.
really oddball color to see out of Camaro. I know this is a factory color, but it's just, it's so rare. Like I just don't see them in this color very often. Looks really good. tremic has got a booth here. Showing off transmissions. So this one's kind of interesting. It's a Dodge Demon. They've taken off the blower and gotten twin turbo instead. Poly intake manifold. It's obviously been resprayed because I don't think this is a factory color actually. Oh, it's vinyl wrapped. You can tell by this line here, the factory like paint protection film. So the car hasn't been resprayed, it's just wrapped. So small details, you gotta catch it. It's the interior of a demon. So there's kind of a giveaway what the actual color is. You can see the green on the hood. And inside the engine bay, strut towers. See, twin turbo. So there's a pretty uncommon sight to see. Dodge Durango done up in a drag spec. I wonder how heavy that is. It's definitely got enough blower bolted to it. Holy cow. As big as it is, I bet it still moves pretty quick. That's awesome. Specs on it. It's like 1500 plus horsepower. 10 liter blower. Holy cow. So of the 1,000 Fox bodies here at this event, I may have found my favorite. Of course, it's green, pretty common color at this show. But it's actually, yeah, EcoBoost swapped. Wide body. That's really cool. 10-speed automatic, I would change that in a heartbeat. There's no way I would have a car like that and not be a stick shift. Come on now. can't tell if this is just your standard run-of-the-mill charger. 5.7 Hemi, yeah. RT, base, V8 model, whatever it is. Looks really cool though. I like the wrap. Ultimate dad wagon here. These new Explorers, especially if it's an ST with the 2.7 or 3.5 EcoBoost, they haul. Big old tires. A little bit of flavor added into it. Oh, this one's a 3 liter instead of a 3.5. Still 550 horsepower. Really cool SUV. So there's really not a whole lot of lifted trucks at this event. But when they show up, they definitely show out. F-250 Super Duty. Again, what size are these tires? If you can't tell, I'm a big tire guy. 42 inches tall, 30 inch rims. Absolutely incredible. Really cool wrap. All the way around, Apollo. Oh, he's a Michigan local. Gotta love that. So apparently we've reached the corner of Corvettes. C8, C8, C7, C7. Another C7. They're just all over the place. So we gotta walk around. Z06 model. C6, C7, Stingray, C7 with the Lambo doors. C8, C8, another C8, C6 over there. So this is a booth I really appreciate. The Waterford Hills Road Racing. 
This Camaro done up. This is more like your uh, timed lap circuit type racing. Can't really tell over there, but big carbon fiber spoiler. Very grippy. Looks like a ZL1 model. Could be a base or an SS. The amount of things that's been taken out and replaced. Big brakes at the same Waterford Hills Road Racing booth. They got this first gen Mazda RX-7. The real question is if it's still rotary powered. So the answer to that question is yes. Still has the rotary power plant. Gotta love that. Yeah, we gotta check out these tires. Those things are thick. Some Super Swampers, 40 inch, 41 inch, 17 inch wheel. Big boys. Not many guys building full drag setups out of convertibles. Twin turbo LS power, convertible new edge Mustang. Drag spec Fox Body Mustang. This thing looks great. Rumor has it it was done and built in like 10 days. Shell to full drag spec. Very cool build. Zinc Yellow New Edge, shout out to that guy. For those that don't know, the Yellow New Edge Mustangs. It's a flex. Not everybody gets it. Some do. Couple of Trailblazer SS's. Very clean. Two tone. The white one over here. Quick self promotion though, if you guys have made it this far into the video, please consider subscribing. My goal for 2023 is to make it to a thousand subs before the end of the year. At this time, I'm halfway there, so uh, you could help me get all the way to a thousand. I definitely appreciate it. Also, back here by the food court, they got a toy o rama a lot of toys for, uh, yeah, just toys. They just got toys. Okay, guys. But to go into detail about the toys, it's mostly just like Hot Wheels, um, die cast collectibles. I think that booth over there has got like vintage car magazines, hot ride magazines, stuff like that. So even the toys here are automotive themed, which seems appropriate. All the Hot Wheels. And so if you loop around back by the food area and then back behind the Meguiar truck that I showed you earlier, there's even a couple of sections specific for bikers. Not a big biker guy, but uh, I do like the old vintage style. Cafe racers. Not that that's what these are, but uh, that's my taste. Old Hondas. It's really interesting to see an old Honda like this in the same booth as like one of these real done up show type bikes. Small quads and three wheelers for the uh, the little ones, dirt bikes. Some trailers on display. This would definitely be sick to have. Being able to get into your race car, drive it in, open up your door. You don't have to worry about hitting your door on anything. You can open up all the way. Open deck aluminum trailers. This I like quite a bit. Murdered out slam station wagon. Seats look like out of something newer, like a, I don't know, maybe a newer Chevy truck or something. Even got some inflatable car booths here to help keep your car protected. I tell you what, if I had one of these, Probably park a Ferrari and throw some ladders at it or something. Give me a
Another car that I really, really like, mostly because there's no chrome on it whatsoever. LSA engine. Deep red paint. Six speed manual, probably out of a ZL1 Camaro. Beautiful car. Some of these cars, man, I don't understand how they keep them so clean. Paint is just straight glass. Crazy. Section we haven't covered yet underneath the O'Reilly's flag. Chevy Monte Carlo. If I had to guess, probably 81. It's my guess. Survey says 72. No, what was I thinking? 81 would be like the more boxier G bodies. But 72 Monte Carlo. S197 Mustang. Apparently it's a Roush edition. A lot of bling under the hood. Chromed out blower. <laughs> Beautiful yellow C3 Corvette. Slam tucking tire. I'd be terrified to drive that because if you got too close to that exhaust, you'd burn your legs getting out. I would be a little bit cautious with that one. Front section of the car. yellow Camaro over there that one might be a 69 I think you can tell with like the gills on the quarter panels correct me if I'm wrong if that one's a 69 another wagon this one's an AMC rebel LS powertrain this is one to appreciate Chevelle done up to replicate the uh, the one that Ricky Bobby drove in Talladega Nights there's a cougar in the car oh there's a cougar in the car I put it in there you got to learn to drive with the fear. And there ain't nothing more goddamn frightened than driving with a live cougar in the car. <laughs> New Edge Mustang with a real cool paint coat on it. Never seen one in this color, so I don't think this is a factory paint color, but it is really good looking, guys. Drag wing. You can see again transmission sitting right next to the driver. All the linkages. I don't know what kind of transmission that is, but clearly on a car like this, it's meant to put in some work. Here's something I bet you didn't think you'd see V8 swapped rear wheel drive PT Cruiser. specs on it 5.7 hemi all right guys it's going to conclude this video i think we've seen everything there is to be seen so we are on our way out um, thank you so much for watching thank you for subscribing feel free to leave some feedback if there's a car that you liked or disliked feel free to talk about it um, till the next video guys see ya